In tutorial 5, I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the 3D effects tools. The first tool we're going to use is the isometric 3D effects tool. So first we're going to start a new drawing and we're going to go to layout again. And we're, going to, we're going to leave it at A3 for now and we're going to change it to portrait. So I thought we'd start with something simple. So I'm going to start by drawing an iPhone. Uh, so we can draw the iPhone in 2D and then we can use the isometric 3D effects tools to make it 3D. So firstly to draw the basic shape of the iPhone, quite large, the larger we draw it the easier it is to put the details in. Once you've drawn the rectangle we can use this tool, draw filleted art between two lines. This will basically round the edges for us. So we select it, then we can put a radius in, we're going to keep it about 10 millimeters for now. And then you just select the two lines that you want an arc or a round in between. As you can see it's as easy as that. Now to draw the screen, so back to rectangle, and I'm going to keep step lock on here as well because it'll make it easier for me to draw and make sure everything's in proportion. Now to draw the earpiece and the home button, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to use the draw an elliptical bezier within a given center. And this will basically allow me to put my cursor in the center. I'm going to turn step lock on now. Yeah, so I'll put my cursor in the centre of where I want the the oval to be, and then I can draw the oval out. And this way, I know that the the earpiece will be in the centre of the, the phone. Scroll down for the home button. And this time, I'm going to use the circle button, and again, put the cursor in the centre and pull out. And that's about the size, and then we can use the rectangle tool to actually draw the square in the middle of the home button. Draw this a little off centre here but it's okay I can use the select tool to select it and then drag it to the left. That'll put it in the middle. Then I can use the filleted arc between two lines tool again or the curve edges tool and I've just put it at one millimeter so obviously the curve is going to be a lot smaller on this home button go around and that looks about right. Also I'm going to use a line, I'm going to make it thicker so it stands out a little bit more so we can go to thick here and then two millimeters is a little bit too big, we'll try one, click OK. Finally it's not actually black the rectangle, it's, uh, it's like a dark grey so we can change the colour of the line as well. Okay, so now with the front of the iPhone drawn, we can make it 3D. So we need to select the whole shape, and then we need to select the 3D effects tool here on the left. We select it, and you can see it's got a start depth and a finish depth. We want to leave the start depth at zero, but the finish depth is going to be the thickness of the iPhone. So I'd say that's about 10 millimeters. Uh, and we can click OK to see if that looks right. Finally, just click anywhere on the screen and it will transform your 2D design into an isometric 3D design. But as you can see there is one problem. It's uh, basically made a transparent model so you can see through to the other side, so you can see all the lines that are on the back of the phone, and this isn't any good. So we need to select the whole model, then go to Edit and Explode, and we select Explode Fully to Simple Objects, click Continue, and then we can use the same delete tool that we did in previous tutorials to go around and delete any lines that we shouldn't be able to see. Now remember to do this carefully because you can only go back one stage. So if you end up deleting two lines that you don't actually want to delete, uh, you can only go back and undo the first mistake. So you might end up having to draw some lines back in if you do end up doing that. Another good idea would be to save it quite often so you can always go back to the to the previously saved file. So as you can see I've just speeded this up as this takes quite a while. So it's a good idea to zoom in quite close to some of the more detailed parts. It makes it a lot easier to delete those lines. And as you can see I'm sometimes making mistakes but just using the undo tool to go back. And there you have it. 
an isometric 3D image of an iPhone. Now go and try it yourself.